space. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. Walk to the front desk and demand to see the one who calls himself the holder of space. The man will stand and wave you towards a door. Do not go alone. Tell him the way is too long to walk alone. He will then lead you to the holder's cell. You will first stop at a hallway. You can see the end, but it seems to become darker the longer you look at it. You will begin to hear mumbling in a language that is terrifying. Each syllable will make it harder and harder to walk. You must continue on, walking for what may seem like hours. When you make it down the hallway, you will be shown a door. Look inside. In the back you will see the holder. He looks like an ordinary man, dirtied by the cell. A white jumpsuit is all that covers him. You may notice he is wearing a blindfold of strange design. It is red and covered in markings of an unknown language. His eyes glow through it with an aura that makes it seem as though the devil himself is wearing it. The man who has been guiding you will then open the door. Do not enter. The holder of space may be blindfolded, but is very aware of where you are. The guide will now hand you a blindfold. You can refuse to put it on and leave at this point without consequence, if you'd like. Keep in mind that should you put it on, you will be in the holder's territory. Put on the blindfold. You know you are wearing a blindfold, but for some reason it will feel as though you are simply looking into darkness, your vision unhindered. If you hear footsteps running at you, do not attempt to remove the blindfold, for it is far too late. I suggest you fight off this holder for as long as you can, because when he finally wears you out, he has not a friend in this darkness, and will do anything to keep himself entertained. Should you hear the soft footsteps of him walking, however, stand still. You will hear what sounds something like, Looks look, in the most agonized voice, and your body will jerk forward, forcing you to walk. You would do best not to remember you were at the front of the cell, and will soon run into the holder, for this thought alone may drive you into madness. Keep walking and you will soon find that space is not what keeps you apart from this holder. You will continue walking until you hear what seems like a cliss in a whisper, as if someone was right at your ear. This could take seconds, or it could take hours. Your body will suddenly halt. The holder should now be in view. It is strongly suggested you hold your eyes open and do not blink. There is no such thing as space in this realm, and the holder will walk as far as he wants in as much or as little time as he pleases. Blink one too many times, and this holder will be nose to nose with you, and his presence will be so mind-numbing that it may stop your heart. Hope that is the case, because that would be ecstasy compared to the holder's plan. Granted you stand there for enough time without blinking, the holder will not move, waiting for his chance to approach unseen. Eventually, the holder will collapse from having to watch you for too long. This is your only chance. Quickly ask him, How did the object get to its holder? You will hear an ear-piercing shriek, and he will tell you about him, and how the objects were scattered. 
The tale is full of impossibilities and atrocities. If you can bear the words, let alone the sound of the holder's voice, he will hand you a red cloth. It is warm to the touch and heavy, even though it is rather small. You notice it is the same one he was wearing in the cell. Take off your blindfold. The holder will be standing in the same place, and you still outside the cell. Neither of you have moved. You will now see his eyes. They are large and will be staring at you, almost down into your soul. You will be holding his blindfold. Close the door and walk away while reciting these words. Space is an idea and I am its holder. No space is too far from which I will grow older. To take one step could be to take a thousand, but to see my steps would bear me great pain. No weather will slow me, nor earthquake, nor rain. I am space's holder, now witness my reign. If you do not recite this, the holder will. Be very afraid. He won't let you take it so easily then. The blindfold is object 237 of 538. Not even space can keep them from coming together.